A route to university. Independence. Ooh. Treated as an equal. Achievements I recognise. Amazing courses. A successful reputation. A levels. Art and design. Beauty. Media. Public services. And so much more at Abingdon and Whitney College. Drop in days on all campuses, 25th and 26th of August. Want to know more? Got any questions? Find us on Facebook. Just search AW College. Get down! Here we are with the Beat Sport live from Abington and Whitney College. Fridays, 10.45 to 11.15. With Elijah Taylor. James Etney. Daniel Wright. And who can forget? Ben Francis. The Beat Sport. Unbeatable for sport. Hello and welcome to the Beat Sport. I'm Elijah Taylor, and this is Dan Wright. Morning, everyone. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about f- mainly football today, but we have still got F1 and cycling still to come up today. But we're going to be starting talking about goal line technology. Should it be there or should it not? We want your opinion at the Beat at Abingdon Hyphen Whitney dot AC dot UK. What do you think, Dan? Well, rumours are that it's going to be available by the start of next season. I'm not quite sure that that's going to happen, but. Based on what we've seen in recent events, I think we need it. On. Welcome to Henry's Lunchbox on the beat. Yeah. I still love that jingle. Oh, it's amazing. Who made that? He was our producer, Elijah. Elijah. Very good. Welcome to a special edition of Henry's Lunchbox, and we're here with a very special guest who is known as Gugu Mbata Raw. She's been in shows such as Touch most recently with Kiefer Sutherland. She's been in Undercovers, yes. in Holby City, in Doctor Who, in Spooks, in all sorts of stuff. Um, so, a special welcome to you. Thanks for having me. It's quite this all right. lovely new Great studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Studio. very nice. In the Whitney College, very this nice. is our. Because you come from Whitney, don't you, Gugu? I do. Yeah, no, Larry Crown, oh my God. Tom Hanks is just, well, he's Tom Hanks, isn't he? I mean, he everybody, you know, that you meet and everybody that I've spoken to about him is like, I love Tom Hanks. <laughs> and um, he really genuinely is a very generous, warm, funny, kind of kooky guy. He's, he's really, really um, fun to be around. Larry Crown, he directed, um, he wrote the script and was starring in it. So um, it was quite amazing to witness someone of that experience and stature. So yeah, he was my sort of first Oscar winner <laughs> to encounter. Um, yeah, and he was really lovely. And then hopefully later on, you're gonna meet a lot more stardom and maybe be as big as Tom Hanks one day. Maybe, I maybe. don't know if it's possible. Um, but um, but yeah, no, he, d- he was definitely very inspiring. Well, you were in theater. You started mm-hmm. off in theater after going to drama school yeah, in right. London. And then you moved on to TV mm-hmm. and film. Mm-hmm. What is the big difference between working for theatre yeah. and plays and working on film sets and TV sets? I'd say the major difference is, is, is technical. There's not so much control of the end product, I think, for an actor. So that's why I think a lot of actors return to the stage, because it's sort of <laughs> yeah. it's empowering. It's empowering, yeah. yeah. Do you have any sort of advice or... Any sort of guidance for any young, expiring, aspiring, expiring, aspiring? <laughs> oh dear! Wow. Do you, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any advice for any expiring actors? <laughs> <laughs> no. um, well, you know, everybody's journey is so different, um, and everybody, I think, has very different talents to, to contribute. Mm. But um, for me, what has always worked is working hard, and. Um, you know, it sounds really boring, not very glamorous and kind yeah, of obvious, right. but I think anyone who who does well, works hard, is, is committed to stick at it, to try and be an optimist, because it is a difficult profession, um, and as I say, to, to still follow your dreams. I, I find that, you know, even from a young age, you know, following my dreams was mm. always my ambition to do something that I loved. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, to try and hold on to, to why I got into it in the first place and, and the passion and uh, not get too cynical along the way. <laughs> and hopefully not expire too and quickly. hopefully not expire before you do this again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, very, okay, very interesting. Yeah, thank well, you very much for coming so in. It's lovely to be here and thank you. Thank you very much for being here. here. 
Abingdon and Whitney College's student radio station, The Beat, with a special edition. Opening the new build. Here today with Noodle Pritchard, Ginge Hughes, Elijah Taylor and Keith Higgins. Ooh. You can tell this is live radio, uh, can't yeah. you? Eh? Hi, E.T. Hello. Hello, he's just a And that's seat. Uh, beat, beat producer and Beat Sport. Is From the Beat Sport, well, it's Elijah well, for, Taylor. For, for, former Beat Sport. Former the, Beat Sport. The, the Beat Sport is finished, I'm afraid. Oh, that's that's a shame. It was a good show. It was a good show. Are you excited about the Open I, Day, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, as soon as you walk in the building, you'll see us with the radio yeah. studio. To a glass plane. Pain. Pain. Plane. 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 <laughs> glass plane. Glass plane, everyone. That would, it would succumb to pressure. It would not be practical. There'd be, no. there'd be a, lot of, glass. a lot of casualties. Yes. Um... Uh, also, I'd like to say hello to Elijah Taylor, Elijah hello. Taylor. who's joined us again. Where have you been? Um, I've I've just been um, out there waiting for um, he, um, he, um, he who must not be named, Ralph Fiennes, um, <laughs> <or> Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you'll actually be bringing him in. I believe you're going to be uh, sort of with it, with uh, he who must not be named, um, Elijah. I, I, I will. You'll be giving um, him the start of his guided tour well, here. I will be giving Emma. the guided tour. You are. Oh. You are the guide. Well, of, of this very wonderful building, which Queen is Queen Emma's Emma. Housing the Tocker Academy. Oh, that's oh. very nicely put there, Mr. Pritchard. Oh. <laughs> Get that in there, just for a little bit of publicity. Um. So yeah, our special guest is in the building. He's in the Queen Emma building, E.T. Uh, he's, you may have noticed he's uh, he's not on the mic. Uh, that's because he's given him a tour of the Queen Emma building. The, Should be quite uh, impressive. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll impress him with our shiny new build. You need to let people course. know what's happening. Yeah. And the door is opening. And, and the door is opening. opening. I think our special guest is uh, just hello. arriving. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, very nice to meet you. Good, and so what is, um, what's happening in Whitney today on the... Oh, well, you are live oh, can, on the Can feed. we just welcome our very special guest? Well, thank, thank you very you. much. It's great to be here. Uh, I've uh, spent a few times coming to visit the college, but I've never seen it looking quite so uh, incredible as it is today with all these new facilities, so it's great to be here. Fantastic. Well, sorry, I've come in here and interviewed you. It's probably <laughs> the other way around, but anyway, I really wanted to know, uh, I really wanted to know how it was working out for, for you. And so thank you very much. Come and say hello. Thanks mm. very much. Ah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, please take a beat badge. Yeah. <laughs> please take a beat badge. Yeah. Represent. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And that was Mr. <laughs> David Cameron there, live wow, on the beat. Well done, guys. Big well round of applause. You were brilliant. We've had Hollywood actress. We've had the Prime Minister. Uh, it's going mental. Yeah, so that was uh, the Prime Minister. And also, I uh, think I need to stop, have a moment, and breathe. I think put a record on. You <laughs> yeah, guys I need think, to. I think, uh, Whoa, that I, was I think superb. That, that was. really was. Football, tennis, cricket, rugby, diving, swimming, cycling, golf, rowing, Formula One, the beat sport. Keeping you informed, whatever your sport. Commentary team is myself, Keith Higgins, and Elijah Taylor. And in three and a half, four minutes gone, and. Great opening for Oxford United. Wickham Wanderers nil. Oxford United one. Elijah. Yes, it's James Constable's first goal of the league season. Um, he has scored in the cup before, but yes, league, first league goal of the season. Um, it's beautiful header back um, by Craddock, um, and Constable struck it on nicely on the half volley, um, and it hit the bottom corner. Nicky Ball had no chance. Well described, Elijah. They had three opportunities in that move. Clark Flap to the first one. Good save for the uh, for the second one, and a fantastic challenge um, by by uh, Wright um, to uh, to deny um, a Wickham goal um, that surely has been coming in the last five minutes. And the chance we bring Elijah in, although Elijah, if you missed it, I don't blame you. That was a goal out of nothing. It really was. It was a beautiful long ball. Um, yes, no, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, breathless it's it's so it's come so quickly in the second second half um, but you yeah, know a high bouncing ball um, long for Craddock uh, he, I was surprised he didn't try and take it down but he was under a lot of pressure um, and it's a fantastic uh, volley um, right into the middle of the goal actually right over Nicky Ball um, fantastic goal by uh, by Craddock um, and that's 2-0 so, your comment about the penalty, do you think it was a soft one, Elijah? Um, well, 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 yes, no, I, I'm very breathless now. Um, <laughs> I said it before, the, 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 the first goal in this half. Um, but yes, no, um, Wickham are back in the game um, after a, a quite a well-taken uh, penalty, actually, um, after Clark was doing a Jersey Dudek on the line. Uh, but yes, um, it probably was quite a soft penalty, to be honest. But like you say, I was saying it in the uh, in the first half that uh, you never see it given the other way, and it's taken my words. And there you go. That's all game, Elijah, isn't yeah. it? Just died down the last few minutes, but yeah, uh, I have no. to say that.
10 minutes, I think it was one of the best 10 minutes I've seen at Adams Park for a long, long time, that beginning of the second half. Yeah, no, the beginning of the second half has been really exciting here um, at Adams Park. Um, Oxford United have really settled back into this game, um, which Wickham will really regret, more well, might regret um, having let them do it. Um, as they are get, seeing more of the ball and more fouls come their way. Yes, yeah, um, so I've just seen. 